Okay, so my lithium battery issues. I bought my RV new in 2022 and I had them install a 100 amp hour lithium battery. The problem is they did not configure the battery charger or the monitoring system to reflect my new lithium battery. And I had all sorts of problems the first year with the with the all the 12 volt systems. And I had I kind of neglected the fact I knew I had a brand new lithium battery and my assumption was I did not have a battery problem. I had all sorts of issues the first year thinking that I had a brand new lithium battery. I just absolutely did not think that I had a problem with my battery. So, as, as the year went on, I was having problems with my power jack. Couldn't raise up and down the trailer. It, it would just grind slowly, it, it, make, it just sounded horrible. And I had a problem with my Schwintec slides. Sometimes they were great, sometimes they didn't, they, they, were, they were just slow. They grinded, they made noises, they weren't, they, it wasn't normal. And um, I put in a TPMS system, tire pressure monitoring system. And you know what? It would always disconnect. It never would stay connected. And I could not figure out what was going on. I did, I did lots of research. I did lots of Googling. And then one day, it just dawned on me, I think I have a problem. I think the battery's my problem. Because as, as I started diagnosing and troubleshooting it, um, I realized that it really only had these problems when I, was on, when I was not connected to shore power, when I was on battery alone. So, from the IT world, I learned, th I learned my troubleshooting process was uh, that I got the condition. In this, in this case, my condition was my 12 volt battery systems weren't working. Uh, then I'd try and fi find the cause and then I'd find the correction, and then I'd confirm that what I had done had fixed the problem. So, now that I'd determined that the 12 volt system wasn't working, I had to figure out where the problem was. So, I hooked up the, I went and bought a lithium battery charger, and I hooked it up for two days to my battery, and kind of ignored it, you know, just hooked it up, went about my business. It was, I was at home. After two days, I took it off the charger, put a voltmeter on it, four volts. Well, right there, I knew I had a problem. I knew my battery charger was good because it's one of those I could do lithium or 12 volt. It always charged up my little um, lawnmower battery good, my boat battery good. So I called up the dealer. I said, dealer, I think I got a bad lithium battery that you sold me. And I said, um, it's less than a year old, and I got the extended warranty. They said, bring the battery in. So I took the battery in, and my assumption was I was going to get an over-the-counter replacement. Oh, no. That's not what happened. I got down there, and they said, we need to hook it up to our super-duper charger for three days. And at the three days, we'll give you a call and let you know. Three days go by, no call. So fourth day comes along, and I call them. And I said, oh yeah, we need to send that battery back to the vendor. And he's gonna have to figure out what's wrong with it and if they're gonna replace it. So 60 days go by, I call them, no word. They haven't heard back from the vendor. 90 days go by, nothing. 120 days go by, now guess what? Now when I call up the, the service writer, she won't answer. She won't answer my phone. It goes straight to voicemail. So that 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 was a little upsetting. I mean, I spent a lot of money for them. I had the extended warranty, and they acted like it was no big deal when I took it in the first time. So I decided to take matters into my own hands a little bit, and I I decided that I was going to just upgrade my my 12 volt battery system. I was going to put in two 300 amp hour batteries, and with the idea that that would be phase one of phase three. Now the other thing about it is this dealer is about two hours away. 
So it's not like I can just drop by there and, and bug them. You know, saying, hey, what's up? You know, sometimes face-to-face -face gets you a little more, a little more credit than a phone call. But being two hours, that's a two hour trip there, two hour trip back, you're probably stuck there for an hour because nobody seems to know what's going on there. So I, I just didn't want to do that. But I think I'm to the point now, it's worth my time to drive down there, meet the general manager, and tell him my story and see what he can do. So anyway, so I put in the, back to the 300, two 300 amp hour batteries. I put in the two batteries, hooked them up, um, hooked them up the right way, Went with Victron, some infrastructure parts, and got the 4 out wire. And uh, got everything hooked up. Had to buy some tools, special tools to do it. Guess what? Battery, or the uh, power jack, works great. It up, down, up, down, up, down, no problems at all. Schwintech slide, works like a champ. In, out, in, out, no problems. And um, my TPMS, stayed live. Ne it never failed once I got it hooked up. So then I got to thinking, well, you know what? I, pr I probably need to give this a, a more robust test. So I said, well, I'm going to go three days and just leave the coach alone. No shore power, just on the two 300 amp hour lithium batteries. So I did it. After three days, I checked the trailer jack. Work like a champ, up, down, up, down, up, down. Did that four or five times. All the way down, all the way up, all the way down. All... Didn't phase it, it worked great. Um, my TPMS system, it was online the whole time, the whole three days, it never went offline. I kept checking on my phone, no problems. It was good, it was rock solid now. My Schwintech slide, in, out, in, out, in, out, no problems, worked like a champ. Then I got to thinking, you know what, I got I never really did check to see if my, my refrigerator was working because it was on 12 volt batteries because usually I was only off offshore power for 30 minutes when I'm trailering up, pulling it somewhere or unhitching. So um, I checked, the, I uh, put some ice in the freezer in a bowl and it, was, it hadn't changed, it stayed frozen. It, it did not melt. So I knew my refrigerator was working. Um, so that, that, that was my, my dilemma. I, I battled that for a full year before I realized what was really going on. Had intermittent problems, very frustrating. TPMS, I, was about, I, I, I contacted the people I bought it from, told them I was having all sorts of problems with it. It wasn't them. And they, they kept telling me this is the only one they've ever heard of. And the fact that it would come on really shocked them. They said, if it comes on, it's working. I said, but it keeps going off. And they said, well, maybe you got another problem. You know what? They were right. I did have another problem. So um, that's my story. I'll show you some pictures of what I did. Here's my two lifetime 300 amp 12 volt batteries. See, I got the four aught cable. And I got, I got the big fuse there. And then I run these into my uh, basement area where the rest of the components are the infrastructure. Now I'll go over and take a look at it. My, pa my power comes in from my two 300 amp batteries right here. This on this is an on off switch. Here's my shunt. This is my Vic Linux distribution kit. These take that battery power out here and they go around to the old battery box and they come in with the big ones and then the smaller cables were the original cables on the supplies 12 volt power back to the coach and one other little oddball thing we had when we were doing the troubleshooting and this this might have caused me more problems than I really realized my battery my battery monitor that came with the coach, when it's plugged into shore power, it always f shows charged. It doesn't say low, fair, or good. So when I had the bad battery in, I'd unplug it, it'd drop down to low. And that was 
you know, that's probably just a, a lack of knowledge on my part, not knowing exactly how this this worked. But anyway, um, it's all fixed now. It's all good. We have no complaints. All right. Well, I'd like to thank you for watching our video, taking the time. Hopefully, I taught you a little something about troubleshooting and lithium batteries. It was quite an experience on my part. Too bad it took a year to, to get it resolved. If you like what you see, please subscribe. And um, I'm retired. My wife's not retired yet. I'm trying to learn this little bit of YouTube business. Not very good at it yet. I admit it. But I do appreciate you watching and uh, appreciate if you rang that bell and give me a thumbs up. And uh, we'll catch you next time. Y'all take care. Bye-bye.